One of life's most subtle temptations is the desire to get revenge. Somebody does something against you, and you, you say, that's not right. Uh, I have rights. Uh, and you want to get even. You want to seek revenge. Uh, have you ever had that happen to you, or somebody did something, and you wanted to get, get, get back, get, get, get revenge? Why don't you share that with your partner or people in your group? All right, so David uh, was anointed to be the next king of Israel, and King Saul was still the king, and Saul hated David. He didn't want him to become king, and so he was trying to kill him. So he chased him all around Israel, and uh, David ended up uh, a fugitive in uh, the Dead Sea Desert area for 10 years. And uh, one time he had an opportunity to kill Saul. Saul came into the cave where David and all his men were hiding, and didn't know David was there. So I just want to read you that, that story. After Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, he was told David is in the desert of En Gedi. So Saul took 3,000 able young men from all Israel. That's a lot of men. This is overkill. So he's serious. And set out to look for David and his men near the crags of the wild goats. He came to the sheep pens along the way. A cave was there and Saul went in to relieve himself. It was a little potty break. David and his men were far back in the cave. The men said, This is the day the Lord spoke of when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. And so they're saying, Hey, this is your chance, David. You can kill Saul and, and we don't have to run anymore. Uh, you, could, you, know, you don't have to be a fugitive anymore. This is your opportunity. Uh, then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Afterward, David was conscience-stricken for having cut off a corner of his robe. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed. In other words, Saul was anointed to be king just like David was uh, years earlier. Or lay my hand on him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With these words, David sharply rebuked his men and did not allow them to attack Saul. And Saul left the cave and went his way. So David had an opportunity to seek revenge. He was being wrongly hunted. Uh, he hadn't done anything wrong, and Saul was trying to kill him, but he didn't take the opportunity to get revenge. He said, I'll leave vengeance to God. I won't try to become king on my own power, bring myself into the kingship, but I'll let God do that in his own timing. All right, so uh, how do you overcome the subtle temptation to want to get revenge? Why don't you come Sunday and... And we'll talk about it. Maybe you can talk about it right now in your group. And uh, hope you have a great study. Thank you.